We're with Lynn St. James, the 1992 Indianapolis 500 Rookie of the Year. Lynn, you made a name for yourself in road racing, Indy cars, you've done it all. I saw you at Watkins Glen this past season uh, for the SVRA event. You were driving a Delara, and you were getting around very well. Wanna t I want to ask you what you've been doing as far as the racing, and then I'd like to know a little bit about what we're doing with women in motorsports. Well, I started racing for fun, and I, and I loved it, and I took it very seriously even when I was racing in SCCA, um, you know, regional and then national. Um, and now, lucky after having a wonderful career with a, being a factory driver for Ford Motor Company uh, in sports car racing, and then to get to the Indy uh, cars in the, in the 90s, I feel I'm on the decade of the 90s. But now I get to go full circle and, and race for fun again. And, and fortunately, because of SVRA and the other vintage racing series, they, you know, they've really provided a venue for an opportunity for old race car drivers to drive old race cars. And some younger race car drivers get to drive old race cars too. So, and some of the, ours, the cars aren't that old. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'm now racing, a two, as you mentioned, at, at, at uh, the Glion, I was racing a 2008 Indy Lights car, Delara Indy Lights car. Well, that's more current than when the last time I raced the 500 in 2000. So it's just fun though because there's, I always say it, in vintage racing, there's no trophies, there's no prize money, and there's not very much media, and the fans are mostly um, family members of, of, the, of the competitors, and there's, there's now a lot more fans because it's growing. But it's just we do it for our passion, and, and my passion has always been there, and now I get a chance to still do it, so it keeps me, keeps my heart beating. Absolutely. For those that have followed Lynn St. James' career, uh, they all know that she has become very involved with women in motorsports and specifically trying to help the women move forward in aspects of racing that sometimes we, we don't consider. I'm talking about public relations, uh, proper etiquette and things like that. You're very active in helping the women. How about telling us a little bit about what you do? Well, I got so much fan mail after I did Indy that I felt compelled to really be able to um, do something so that I could help them. So I really, it's not about trying to get more women into the sport, it's about taking the ones that are in it and helping them elevate their career for success. Um, so I've been doing that since like 1994 and I've been very fortunate to work with some really great drivers. And, uh, and now what I'm, we've, we created, I created a um, scholarship grant called Project Podium with the help of Paul Newman who gave me the first $10,000 to start it. So we have grant recipients, some of them are gonna actually be at the PRI show. Uh, Courtney Crone is out of the West Coast and she's been a recipient. Um, I'm excited about our Women in Motorsports um, panel at the PRI show on Friday morning, which is actually sponsored by PRI. So this was really great. That, you know, to see both SEMA and PRI make a commitment to be able to engage a larger group of people and not just the hardcore you know, the hardcore is important, but we really want to grow and expand the sport. And, and I think one of the ways to do that is to reach out to this different audiences, and women are a big part of that. So we'll have that seminar. Um, and I, I know that Robin Dallenbach is actually coming, and she's bringing her daughter, Kate. Um, and so Amy Ruman, Ruman is coming to the seminar, and she is the Trans Am champion two years in a row. So we want to demonstrate and really show that women are out there winning, and there's a new audience because they're bringing a new audience in, and then prepare the young up-and-coming drivers to know how to handle the media, to know how to understand that this is a business. And if you're in the business of racing, you need to be at the PRI show. And so I, I've encouraged some of these gals to take a day off school or whatever to come out here so that they can really understand the business. And, and, and this is just as important as when you strap yourself in the race car. So it's, uh, it's all about preparation. It's all about understanding the bigger picture of what you've got to do besides winning in the racetrack. But winning in the racetrack is also one of the most important things. So we want to get the, the gals that are winning and get them to come out here and to, and to kind of grow their you know, their, their sort of view of what the world is all about. 2017, our 30th anniversary of PRI shows. How many have you made? Ooh, you know, I really don't know because I know I came to it when it was originally here and I went to it when it was down in Orlando and I've been to it every year since it's been back here. So I, I haven't been to 30 of them, um, but I'll bet you I've been to at least half of those. That's great. Lynn, thanks for sitting down with us, and uh, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope to see you at Watkins Glen in 2017 in that Delara Indy Lights car. Well, I can tell you that Watkins Glen is my, my favorite road course, so I will be back at Watkins Glen, guaranteed. <laughs> all right, there she is, Lynn St. James. She's here at the PRI show. She'll be here all weekend, and get a chance to say hello, make sure you do.